Hey guys and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to change your boot screen using an SIS installation file. Now this is really simple and most modders, beginner modders and advanced modders should be able to perform this. Um, it's really common sense and if you've got the tools it uh, makes it a lot easier to do. Um, so here I have the startup 2. It's got to be a GIF image graphical interchange format image and I have the custom boot SIS file which I'll provide in the description. Um, you're going to be replacing the GIF image that's already in this SIS file uh, with the one that you want. Now if we take a look at the properties of this image you'll see that the dimensions have got to be 360 by 640 pixels um, for it to show full screen on the um, screen of the 5800 when it boots. In here you'll also be able to change the sound but in this boot there's also a Windows 7 startup sound uh, so you can just use that if you want uh, that'll make things easier but if you want to replace your sound you can always uh, browse for some sounds. They can't be too long obviously uh, we'll find out how long that sound is when we get into it so first you're going to need SIS contents, now this is basically a package that looks at the contents as SIS files and lets you unpack it and repack them. So once you've got uh, SIS contents and that will be in the link in the description. Um, you're going to want to open it up like this, you'll have these folders just open ext SIS. Then you want to click and drag custom boot onto here and if that doesn't work just press file open file and uh, browse the custom boot file now you're going to see some um, details the vendor name which is my name you can change that uh, the package name version number target devices and the signing status you'll need to sign this before installing it or have ROM patcher with the install server and open for all patches so to change the boot screen what you're going to want to do is click this file here contents now currently the uh, boot screen is set onto startup.gif so you're going to want to rename just rename that to uh, a gif image we should see that that's the same image as this one because we just replaced it um, this text file here you can change that if you want just extract it onto the desktop and you can just change it to custom startup screen you can put your name on it whatever it just shows up it copies it into C as text so you don't really need that but you know some people like it this is the mp3 you can just do the same thing as before if you open it by the system maybe you can hear that it, it's just the windows startup sound um, this file here you don't want to change this, this um, OX3 string this shows where it's going to copy the startup.mp3 to um, so when you've actually installed this if you want to replace the mp3 you can just copy the mp3 file name it startup and copy it into C boot um, the startup image is also in C boot so you can just uh, replace that so once you've done all that you've um, replaced all the files you want you don't need to touch these two files here and you don't need to touch this one unless you want to change where the boot screens held some people like to put it in their ROM in Z so it's up to you um, once you've done this you want to go to file save as click on your desktop and call it custom boot personal ok that will create your SIS file on your desktop and then that shows that if you install this file on your phone it will change the boot screen and the startup reboot your phone and you'll see the operation take place thanks for watching be sure to subscribe rate and comment on this video I'll post the custom boot and the SIS contents in a WinRAR package on the description and the sidebar for YouTube so um, check that out and you can make your own boot screens with this thanks for watching bye